Hi, my name is Rebecca, and today I'm going to talk about being pro-life and why that is pro-women. So before I start, I just want to give you guys some context. When I was a kid, I had only brothers and a lot of guy friends, and always tell them, whatever you guys can do, I can do better. Because there was this comparison in me and this competitiveness, thinking which, which is better, like being a boy or being a girl? And as I grew in understanding of what the church teaches and my identity as a daughter of God, I came across the beautiful teaching of the church that says men and women are equal, but different. So we're equal in our dignity and our humanity, but we're different in our feminine and masculine bodies. And that's a good difference. It's a difference that was willed by God. And so we each reveal something about the father that the other can't. So for women, I've learned that we have a capacity to be tender, but also so strong. And even if you look at our bodies, we're so complex. And the church calls this the feminine genius. And even Pope Francis, he says that God's greatest gift is a woman. And in the gospels, we see courageous women. We see women who are so capable, but not just that, women who are poetry, harmony, and beautiful. And so this is what women add to this world, beauty. And without women, he says, the world would be less beautiful and less harmonious. So with that in mind, that's why I want to explain why being pro-life is pro-woman. In the early feminists, the early feminist movement, um, I'm thinking of Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Stanton, they fought very hard for the right to vote and for rights in the workplace where women were being fired for just being pregnant. But they said um, they could never accept the lie that women needed abortion to be equal to men. And this is because they recognized the unique gift and capacity of women to bear in their womb their most sacred part of their body an ability to have another person, another eternal soul. And so when we think about the abortion debate, there's often the right, the rights of the women, reproductive freedom versus the right to life of the unborn. But in the Catholic sense, in the pro-life sense, it's not about versing each other and it's not about attacking each other. But being pro-life is not anti-woman, but it's pro-woman. And this is because the church recognizes the depth and the beauty and the truth that only a woman can bear in her own body another sacred life. And even with abortion, there's so much physical and emotional trauma that's just not talked about and oftentimes silence. But if anyone watching this video has known anyone or experienced an abortion themselves, I just want to encourage you and point you to the Father who is ready and willing to forgive you and heal you and make you new in the sacrament of reconciliation because there is no wound that is too deep for the Father to heal. And the same Father of mercies, you can entrust your child in heaven. And so I pray that everyone who watches this video will understand that being pro-life is being pro-woman. And God bless. Thanks for listening.